Hello, my name is James Williams Jr. I'm doing a report on school bullying for my domestic violence class. So this is my uh, practice speech, if you would. I don't have my cue cards. I'm just going to go a little bit. You guys tell me if you like it or not. All right. Because I'm still debating on my opening statement. So I'm going to throw this out here. I want you guys to watch it and tell me if you like it. Conflict Advocate number two. Ready to go? Here we do. Okay. So class, first let me explain to you all. My name is James Williams Jr. My reporting is on bullying. Now bullying is also a small form of abuse, so I want to get that out of the way first. I would like you all to know that when you look at me, you probably don't see a victim, a target, a survivor. Those three things are important because although most of us would not admit that we've done something wrong in our lives to anyone, very few of us own it. But for those who have secretly bullied people and don't want to shame yourselves or whatever, it's fine. But just remember that you have done that and that what you do to someone today can come back to blow up in your face another day. So you should be careful how you treat people because you never know who they're going to become or the power they will have over society, which means they'll have power over you. As a child, I was forced to fight since I was six years old till I was 12 years old in the streets. Back when I was growing up, that apparently wasn't illegal or the police officers just never came around the black communities and being mixed, no one really gave a damn, all right? So when I turned seven years old, I learned martial arts. Martial arts didn't make me a better fighter, it made me dangerous. And when you become dangerous, you're not just a danger to yourself because you don't know the limits of your skills. You are a danger to everyone else. Hardest part about being me these days have been keeping my hands to myself. Because everyone who actually knows me and knows my story knows that fighting is something that I don't really run away from. I've backed off a lot since my hip replacement, but I don't really run away from it. However, as a child, I was bullied a lot. I was bullied from kindergarten to college, all right? Yes, I said from kindergarten to college. I was bullied over little things that became big things. Little things such as me being mixed. Uh, we had a race war in my school. Uh, the black kids didn't like me because I wasn't a real nigger. I was a half nigger. Uh, the white kids didn't like me because I wasn't really white. I was half white. Come find out, I'm not just black and white, I'm also Native American. Didn't find that out until the fifth grade. Thank you, Miss Conrad. However, you would think that that would narrow the bullying down. It just actually gave bullies more fuel to fire. Okay? So not only was I half white guy, half black guy, I was also half chief. And these words would carry on from grade school, middle school, to kindergarten, we were giving my bullies fuel to pick. So now, on top of that, by the time I got to high school, a movie came, came out called Renegades, and it got to me, it kind, it kind of feels worse for me to be called chief than it does to be called nigger. Because I was uh, bullied at work by some guy who's going through some shit. I don't really hold him responsible. I can't really say he was bullying, but it was more of an annoyance because he kept calling me chief. Okay, so you guys watch that. See if you like it. That was like three minutes of your life that you can't get back.